This video is going to be on eosinophilia and basophilia, which are increased concentrations of eosinophils and basophils in blood, respectively. And the way you can remember the causes of eosinophilia and basophilia are worms, wheezes, and weird diseases. I'll go through each one of these categories individually, going over specific diseases within each category. First, with worms, it's not just worms, but worms is supposed to represent tissue parasites in general. So that includes heartworm disease, nematodes, trematodes, and protozoa that infiltrate and um, invade the tissues. Usually parasitism that is restricted to the GI lumen does not cause eosinophilia and basophilia. There has to be active tissue migration or invasion. Wheezes is representative of hypersensitivity reactions. So cats with flea bite dermatitis can have a hypersensitivity to fleas. They might have alopecia, pruritus, erythema. Staph or strep pyoderma can cause this. And there's lots of different respiratory, allergic respiratory diseases in animals. Cats can get feline asthma. Horses can get heaves, and dogs get canine eosinophilic bronchopneumopathy. And now for our last category, weird diseases. That includes a variety of neoplasms, as well as Addison's disease, also known as hypoadrenocorticism. Going back to the neoplasms, the most common neoplasms that cause eosinophilia or basophilia include mast cell tumors, as well as T-cell lymphoma, and less commonly to rarely, leukemia. Now all of these, most of these causes of eosinophilia and basophilia produce an eosinophilia and basophilia because there is production and release of interleukin-5 by mast cells or T-lymphocytes in a T-helper-2 response. And this IL-5 goes back to the bone marrow and tells the bone marrow to undergo eosinophilic hyperplasia to get those eosinophils where they're being called to in the tissues. Now, Addison's disease is different in that it's a deficiency of cortisol that actually causes the eosinophilia. Also, most of these causes can cause eosinophilia and basophilia, except Addison's tends to only cause an eosinophilia, but it does not have an association with a basophilia. So there you have it. The causes of eosinophilia and basophilia include worms, wheezes, and weird disease. Um, so that includes parasitism, specifically tissue parasites, various hypersensitivity reactions, and of the weird diseases, mast cell tumors and T-cell lymphoma are most common.